Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 17th of 2019. Well, it is titled the Horsehead Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, exactly what it says in the title. This is what is known as the Horsehead Nebula. And that's for its resemblance, perhaps to the knight in a game of chess. And the knight piece there giving the same little hooked head associated with the horse. Now and the difference would be that this horse head is about five light years tall, as compared to just a very small size for the chess piece. And this is what we call a dark nebula. A dark nebula does not give off any visible light of its own. We only see it because it blocks out the light from behind it. So here we see this dark dusty area that is blocking out the light for the red light behind it. The red light being an emission nebula. An emission nebula occurs when hydrogen gas is excited by ultraviolet radiation from young stars. So we're looking here at part of the Orion region of the sky and we've seen that many times that Orion is a, a great star forming region and one of the closest star forming regions uh, to us. And it is where stars are forming and that is what is happening within the Horsehead Nebula itself. So the Horsehead Nebula is a darker denser area of concentrations of material. And that's why we can't see through it. It's blocking out all of that light from behind it. But within that concentration material is condensing and new stars are forming. So what we see is the Horsehead Nebula will not remain the Horsehead Nebula. It is constantly changing from inside and out. As new stars form within it, they will begin to brighten out and burst out of their cocoons. And therefore the Horsehead Nebula will no longer be dark. They will begin eating away at it from the inside. And other stars that have formed are eating away at it from the outside, slowly evaporating all of the denser material. So that could we look at this in a few hundred thousand years, it would no longer resemble the horse head that it does today. Now, why does it resemble a horse head? Well, that's just complete random chance. It is just a random uh, com combination of materials there. And our minds do not like things that are random. So it tries to put some kind of order to this. And one of the people who looked at it first saw that it resembled a horse head and that has stuck. And when somebody tells you it looks like a horse head, you have a tendency to be able to make that pattern out. So it's not that it really looks like a horse head. In fact, the closer and more detail you look at it, the less it looks like a horse head. But at a quick glance, and especially at lower resolutions, it really does have that resemblance to the knight from a game of chess. So that was our picture of the day for December the 17th of 2019. It was titled the Horsehead Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.